Closing arguments begin today in the Russell Tillis murder trial. He is accused of the murder of Joni Guttner. Her remains were found buried on his property back in 2016. So yesterday, Tillis took the stand. He spoke for three hours, addressing a recorded jailhouse confession. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding is live this morning. And Ashley, he told a very different story in that courtroom than he did in his confession. Absolutely. Melanie and Bruce, good morning to you both. Yes, on the stand here yesterday at the courthouse, in short, Tillis denied being responsible for Joni Gunter's death. Instead, he told the court that it was his brother who arrived at his south side property with Joni Gunter's remains in the trunk. We do need to make it clear to our viewers at home. Detectives in the case say there is no evidence to point to Tillis's brother. In riveting testimony yesterday, accused killer Russell Tillis said he was not responsible for the death of Joni Gunter. Earlier this week, the jury listened to a jailhouse recording where Tillis was heard admitting to killing and dismembering the woman and burying her remains on his property. Tillis now says that was all an elaborate fabrication to ensure he'd receive the death penalty. And I tell him that I have knowledge of where a body is buried and that I want to confess to the police about this body and I want the death penalty because I'm fixing to get this 30 years and I don't want to die a slow death in prison. I was 55 at the time. I've lived a pretty good life. I figured I'll, I'll get the death penalty and I, and I won't die that slow death in prison. Tillis now says he no longer wants to die, and from there he shocked everyone, saying it was his brother Claude who arrived at his home with Gunter's deceased body in the trunk of his car. While he admitted he knew she was dead, Tillis quickly shut down when prosecutors pressed him further. What did you do with her body to get Joni Gunter out of that truck? How did you get her out of the truck? <laughs> well, at, well, at this point in the interrogation, I am going to claim the Fifth Amendment, and I'm not going to make any more statements regarding that question as a means to protect myself from any future uh, associations. Tillis kept refusing to answer questions about how Gunter was dismembered or how she ended up being buried. Prosecutors pointed to the state of Tillis's home. The kind of privacy that a bunch of tarps hanging around your house provides, correct? You can continue on kind of privacy that a booby-trapped fenced yard provides, correct? Mm, you can continue on. When asked why he never sought justice for the death of Joni Gunter, Tillis appeared to try to protect his brother. I'm caught in between two traps. One, I got my brother standing there looking at me, and I got that girl deceased in the trunk of the car. My brother's confronted me many times with this same sort of situation, helped me, and yes, maybe that was the wrong decision, all right? And again, we need to make it clear Tillis's brother is not charged with a crime. The jury, excuse me, the trial begins again at 9 o'clock this morning, so in a little less than an hour. Reporting live this morning, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.